Alright guys, if you're looking at ways to make a lot of loot um, inside your war days or inside your trophy pushes, when you're trying to move up through your town halls and get all your defense and your troops done, you gotta get paid. And things get expensive up in town hall 8, moving into 9, I can't imagine, and 10 is nuts. So you gotta make a lot of loot. Every single time you go out there, every single time you're going for the hitting next button, make sure you settle on something big because as you see right here, there are big hits out there. In a previous tutorial video I did, I really break down how to determine how the collectors are full. That's going to be your main focus when you're coming with the Barching Army, as you see right here. I try to bring a little more flavor when I'm coming uh, around like the Town Hall 8 areas. I, I bring some wizards, my own little creation. I do it also with Valkyries now. I've been kind of jumping into that, and I have a little video I'll be showing uh, a little bit later on. That allows you to kind of penetrate into the storage is in the middle of their base which isn't as hard as people think it is you don't have to only go for just the collector raids though they're the most efficient they're gonna get you the most amount of money and when you're doing these barch army raids you're really not concerned too much about your trophies you really can't be because you're gonna lose so many trophies when you don't have enough time to sit there and fight 8 10 12 fights in a night you're only gonna get a couple in and you gotta make two million you need to just preserve Preserve all the troops you can so when you do the collectors you're like all right don't worry about the trophies we'll come back to that I got to get this stuff done and just keep hitting the next button because you'll find these big raids my army composition for the barching is I try to keep the barbs and archers generally close to split it's like 80 barbarians uh, 90 some odd archers I try to keep about 10 to 13 14 wall breakers to get through and like I said I'll throw a Valkyrie or two I'll even cook like three or four up sometimes uh, when the collectors aren't you know going off for a whole night and it feels like it's a little slow I'm just kind of punching through walls so I bring a little bit extra I also cook up 5 or 10 minions to take the king and the heroes down. Uh, the next button is definitely your biggest ally when it comes to loot knights. I also will boost my camps if I know I only have about 2 hours left. That's just going to push your production of your troops and your camp so much faster. You don't have to do all 3 or 4 of them. Right now I have a barrack down so I'm just doing 3 barracks and I'll just boost 2 of them. And I mean you can make like 2 million in 2 hours, 3 million depending on how you fight, depending on how the, the loot's flowing for you know that night it's you can make a lot really quickly and that's also going to stop you if you have an iPad stop you from you know coming and getting raided and getting your storages taken out because you know you got your iPad open you got everything boosted you're flying through stuff you're on the television so you really got to just keep hitting the next button as you see in the last one 300 plus in each here Jeremy from loot nation uh, he's same thing just coming with the barching you're pretty much just using all the barbarians right against the collectors you put the archers behind it it's a really fast really quick easy way to make loot and the reason why it works so well, the Barch Army, is because the cost of the army is about forty to 80,000 elixir, uh, depending on how you use your spells, how many spells you use, and some dark elixir here or there if you throw in the Valkyries or the Wizards. But for the most part, it's a very cheap army, so you save the elixir so you can keep your troops upgraded and you make a ton of gold because you're hitting the next button, button finding just the collector raids. So here's stupid a loot nation native one of our best fighters we got uh, he's coming in for dark elixir once you get into town hall 8 you can really upgrade your uh, king very easily because you can get yourself up into crystal with the level 5 troops and as you see right here he's going to punch a hole in the bottom use the giant as a meat shield as he brings in his wizards he's lucky they turned back around uh, got caught up in the end of that raid spell got them inside and right here if he drops a heal spell in the middle this is cleanup city he might even go ahead and get the town hall but he's really just mainly 
trying to punch in here, grab the Dark Elixir. Everything is going to shoot the Giants. He's got the healers behind him, keeping things alive. And it's going to be a nice, easy zap. Pulling down 2K Dark Elixir uh, in a raid is sick. It's going to get you your upgraded troops to the Hogs and the King very easily. Also, with Town Hall 9s, the beginning of it, you can do this um, just to be able to pick up more Dark Elixir for your Queen as well. So one of the main problems with doing the Barch Army is that you get really bored with it. So I try to change it up a little bit. I use a Bow Army. I got a tutorial on how to use that. It's Barbs, Archers, Wizards, and being that one of my barracks are down, I've been trying to use the Valkyries a bit because they're fun and you can get about two or four of them done in a half an hour for four and 15 minutes for two. So they're a nice little add-on. And this raid actually happened while I was editing this video which was super cool and I have a decent amount probably about half of it in the collectors on the outside and then in order to get on the inside you could get the barch army in here uh, definitely there are people who can get it through here because you got the three storages on the gold for the outside and being that I'm trying to finish up as many black walls as I can this was the perfect raid for me because I didn't have to go for any of the elixir so I surround the base with the archers I put one in uh, they're all the the way that these internet bases are set up are are awesome for people who get inactive because they leave their camps they leave some of the uh, buildings on the outside with a further enough distance away where you can drop just one archer down and that'll help you get to the 50 percent or in this case I was able to sneak and pull away almost all of the collectors without really wasting a lot of troops and you see I circled the whole entire base then I get over to the right side I take down the king and here you come I bring in the Valkyrie she's got a lot she has 1900 hit points so she holds Holds up really well to the Town Hall 8 cannons and archer towers. So you see, I'm going to finish up the first storage, follow the same plan for the second and the third one. Just going to come in with these new wall breakers I got about a week or so ago with the gold bombs. They're really cool. It's just two of them for the pinks and the purples. So this is a really solid plan when you're trying to make the Barch Army even faster. Whenever you can incorporate dark troops into your barching, it's just going to help you out in terms of how fast you get in back inside the raids. So adding some dark troops are always fun. The hogs really help out if you're going to drop a heal spell on them to clear out a little area for the dark elixir. Uh, the minions are great for the kings and these valkyries are awesome to punch inside. Uh, I'm hoping to really get using the witches a lot when I get to town hall 9. I'm really excited to try them out in, an, in, a, in a little bit of a bar setup. If you're running into a problem with making enough loot, drop a comment in the bottom. Tell me what the problem you're working with is. I'll get back to you with uh, maybe something you could try differently. Uh, remember, keep hitting the next button. That's probably the most important thing is not settling for a match. I know it gets a little bit annoying when you're hitting it like 10, 15, 20 times. When you get up into crystal, you're talking 30 times, 40 times sometime. So you just got to be patient with that. Know it's part of the game. Don't settle for anything with not enough elixir and definitely don't settle for anything with not enough gold because you're really looking at climbing in your gold storage. Making loot is the most important part of the game. It's the only way that you're going to be able to afford using anything. Just letting your collectors, I guess you could boost your collectors and hope that you, or pay for those multi-day shields, but it's not going to go nearly as fast as being able to go in and raid from people. So with just a few tactics and a few tips and tricks, you'll really be able to get in there and take anything away from anybody. Even in this video right here, I'm, I got all dragons. I'm doing a little practice for my wars and I'm still going to make enough elixir to pay for the army I'm using. I'm going to make a ton of uh, gold for my upgrades and I'm bringing a really big long expensive army to use it's just going to be about what you understand how you climb in saving for you know your upgrades and that's by making enough elixir to pay for each one of your armies and the barchway is the fastest but go ahead and play around with it but always hit the next button guys so get out there get going make some loot and if you got any great raid videos with high loot go ahead and throw the links in the bottom under the video and uh, check them out you know